Month, we share the story of Mary Lumpkin and her legacy as the mother of VUU. There's no physical evidence of what was once described as the devil's half acre. A cruel, dark place of agony and despair for enslaved African American people, tortured and beaten here at the infamous Lumpkins Jail in Richmond. That jail, once existing on a compound owned by the notorious Robert Lumpkin, a man with a brutal reputation for abusing the enslaved. Many of his, uh, those who were enslaved died of disease and, and mistreatment, and so it was a filthy, grimy place. Whipping and beating uh, men and women left to write in their own excrement. The site once belonging to Lumpkin's home, jail, and lodging for slave traders in the mid-1800s is now buried beneath mounds of concrete under Interstate 95 in Shackle Bottom. Today, visitors are met with these historical markers by Main Street Station. The Lumpkin Jail became a very important place for two reasons. One, it held those slaves that were considered rebellious, so to speak, so that they would be seasoned, so to speak, or just uh, taken care of in ways that would ship before they go on the domestic slave trade on one. Among those who survived the unimaginable on Lumpkin's compound, as Richmond reigned as the second largest hub for the U.S. slave trade, an enslaved woman named Mary, who at 13 was forced to bear his five children. Among them, Dr. Carol Livia Haran's great-grandfather, Richard Lumpkin, who she says changed his name. The name Lumpkin was considered so evil at that time. When I realized that I was really descended from this awful evil man, I felt that I had to do something with my anger. She bought this bracelet to rattle sick. off frustration. Because if I accept this mar marvelous woman as my ancestor, or he's my ancestor, too. Move, and every uh, time I say it, it breaks my heart that, that, that I'm kidding this woman. All right, now, what are you saying? I was just saying pause it because of what, he, what they were talking about, what was going on. Um, when, when, this, when this lady was 14 years old or 13, he done raped her, and she then started bearing his children. There she go right there. You know. Marianne. Well, she, I, who is she? I, is she the descendant? I think she's the descendant, Zay. No, she's one of the people. She's one of the sons, the yeah, kids. Yeah, she said at 13, she had to bear five, five of his children. This lady here, I don't know if they can see what I'm pointing at, but if so, um, that's that, that's that, yeah, that's that lady right there, y'all. Hmm. Interesting. Matter of fact, I'm gonna jump us back up here a little bit, so, so you can see that we looking at the same thing y'all looking at. I didn't, I didn't even put, we just put the two and two together, really, that we had a picture of this lady. Well, it's, it's crazy. It's nice. But it's interesting to hear her story, you know, from her, you know. Yeah. It's still still crazy situation, crazy set of circumstances to even have a child in, but she had you see she didn't have no another problem up. that you hear white America talk about mm -hmm. is how promiscuous and how fast little black girls are. When you done been, which is not true, but the dumb stuff is these fools out here believe it. And let me tell you something that I hip that was hip to the day. Even these conservatives and these liberals that are white, mm. they feel the same way. It's just their expressions are different yeah. because they don't want to lose the whole ball of wax. So they like, look, we ain't trying to tear the country down, but we ain't trying to give y'all what y'all looking for now. <laughs> we'll give you some of it up to that point, and after that, we're going to start pulling back because y'all wanting too much. Because, see, what you want is part of what we got. You only supposed to have, have, well, you only supposed to have three, and you got 23. You need to get up off them 20. That's what needs to happen. Even so if you had four and you both had three, they want their one back. Yeah, well, you know, the whole thing is, man, it's just crazy that you want me to be under these conditions, but you don't want to live under them. And my whole thing is, either we all dying from the same thing, and or none of us. Hmm. 
Mm. Nobody's kids get educated or everybody's kid get educated. That's crazy that they even had to make that a well, see, the thing is, the, top of their school. the reason that a lot of these plantations ended up having these schools, and just like the other one that I told you down there in Prince George County, mm. a lot of people don't know that that was, a, that was a plantation, okay? And that's how they came up with Georgetown. Now, these places, they needed places to teach these white kids how to be plantation owners. So they was building these institutions to teach them how to control and run the country and how to run business and that business and that sort of thing. While meanwhile, it's illegal for you to learn anything. Oh Lord, we caught on, didn't we? Okay. Yeah. Some, some of us. Yeah. Some of us did. Others decided to we stay. We don't care about them. Harriet Tubman shot them. I'm kind of where she is on that. You ain't lying. She surely did, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, she surely you want to go all back. She Each said, you want to go back? Not this time, black. She had a 45, they said she carried. You think she was a back shooter? I would have been. So, yeah. I, that's the only kind of woman I want is a back shooter. I don't know about that one, but, you know, that might be. I'm trying to read a message that then jumped up. It, 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 you know, sometimes stuff just jump up. Are you going to use that other camera or are we going to be stuck with this? No, we're going to, we're going to, I think we might finish out. No, we're going to finish out with both of them. We're going to finish out with both of them. But let's hear what she got to finish saying right quick. So I'm going to get rid of this one and we're going to finish out her video for a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. When I get angry, I can just shake it. Almost like taking my fist in his face. Lumpkin would eventually wed Mary, leaving his land and property to her when he died in 1866, a year after the Civil War ended. But it was what she did shortly after with the property that empowered generations to come. Mrs. Lumpkin leased the former jail to Baptist minister Nathaniel Culver, who needed a site to start a this religious school right. for newly freed African Americans. It's hard to find land. Uh, to build an institution to educate African-Americans. What became God's Half Acre, or Richmond Theological Seminary, years later, evolved into Virginia Union University. The school also the result of a merger between four institutions, all founded by the American Baptist Home Mission Society. Dr. Cleve Tensley IV, a history professor at VUU, says the school wouldn't exist without Mary Lumpkin. We Real black history. Go ahead. Wouldn't exist without Mary Lumpkin. No. Man, listen. When you look at the lady that they still use in her jeans, um, um, I'll think of her name. Um, Henry, Henrietta Black, mm -hmm. I think it is. And uh, they ain't never compensated nobody for that. And, and and they done stole this lady's jeans and been using them, you know, all over the world because they found out that she has the ability to reproduce for stem cells, to reproduce certain things. And that's what they've done. And they, they taken, they just straight up taking this woman's jeans, man. I still say put us on that, put the little one over there on the coffee cup. Why on the coffee cup? Because it's just cool, man, when you can do images and stuff. Herbert already chilling on the coffee cup. But Herbert ain't real. You need something over there. You know, anyways, that's tea. That's not coffee. Yeah, that's a tea. That's a tea cup. Yeah. He said, I tea with my tea cup. <laughs> we teetotalers now. What? Anyways, all we trying to do teetotal. is say with great power. This being February. Oh. And we are just getting ready to go into black history. All of this nonsense about critical race theory and DEI, which I forgot what that stood for, uh, diversity, something inclusion. I think it's diversity, equity, inclusion, something to that effect. Two of them is right. I don't know about the, the middle one. But the whole thing is, when Candace Owens in the other clip that we had was talking about she didn't want to fly because she was because she didn't if she seen a woman 
she wouldn't want to fly because she figured that they just got there because of either affirmative action, DEI sort of thing, or because of some kind of favoritism. And and we looking back at her and saying, that's how all of y'all was going. That's how white folks were going through school. You know, just like when you were doing Harvard and Yale and stuff like that, you couldn't go to Harvard. You know, we're going to turn back like we were. No. Yeah. You can't, but you can't see it in this camera. That damn camera ain't no good. Need a better camera. <laughs> oh, it just shows up good on that little. Yeah. Oh, that's Actually, good. I mean, we could, but I don't feel like zooming it out and all that. We would have to zoom I it know, out. I know, man. Anybody trying to fool. We just, we winging this one, man. Yeah, this one's, this one's just kind of a, this is more of an informational episode while we're trying other things. Yeah, and I'm going to cut it up and put it out. And that's how that's going to go. Yeah. So if Don't gonna, forget, y'all. It, okay? Then like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Okay? And click that bell when you want to be notified that we are dropping more videos. Please. Ding, 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 ding. Remember, leave some comments. Leave some comments. Share the videos with other folks that you think may be interested, need some knowledge, or just need a good laugh. Some great entertainment. Either way, throw it out there. Any any exposure would be 